Hey, welcome back everyone, I'm Matt Larson, and on Friday of this previous week, a CBS affiliate out of Arizona ran that bottom ticker at the bottom of the screen, you know, like when breaking news comes up, and like on ESPN, the sports ticker and stuff like that. They accidentally ran this. What dog is that? That's his right son. They're just going to move him across. Yeah. What part? Uh, can you, Thank you, can you give me an idea what part of the dog that is? Uh, up on his like thigh, yeah. of his leg. That was poor. <coughs> the picture of my finger is also eight days after it was bit. That wasn't that day. Oh, the poor dog. <laughs> can you give me an idea what part of the dog that is? Uh, up on his like thigh, yeah. of his leg. That was poor. <coughs> the picture of my finger is also eight days after it was bit. That wasn't that day. Now, as you guys just saw, Obama won the elections right there. He won with 43% of the vote compared to Romney at 40% of the vote. But my question is, where did the other 17% go? They didn't just magically vanish. The third-party vote or the write-in vote people didn't just disappear. They had to have gone somewhere. But, of course, as you saw, they're not going to actually be represented or told what they each got. So it's kind of weird that uh, these news programs have done this now the past a few times this year. It's happened in the Republican primaries, and it's happened way, 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 way long before my time uh, with when the president's actually a newspaper calling it ahead of time, and then the next day they find out they were wrong, but some of those newspapers actually ran. So the nation thought that the one guy won when in reality he lost. But my question to you is, where do you think that 17% went, and who got that 17% of the vote? Was it third party? Was it write-in votes? Where did it go? Or are they just magically just making up these numbers? I think that they're magically making up these numbers, because I don't think that they would actually give a third party vote 17%, because that's just way, way, way too much of the American people uh, waking up. And people might actually take uh, attraction to that, and they look into it more. But who knows? So I'm going to post the link down below in the description uh, for a more detailed article that goes on about this a little bit more on the Daily Caller. Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section down below, either as a text or video response. If you're new to my videos, I ask that you please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the current political news. As always, I'm Matt Larson. Go Ron Paul. Peace.